In this video, I'll show you how to fix in case your Epson printer, EcoTank ET2800 or other models that are looking similar to this one are, are printing blank pages like this one with absolutely nothing. There's a few things you can try. So let's start with the easiest of the solution that doesn't require much time, which is to first turn off your printer. And once it's turned off, you're gonna go on the back and remove the power cable okay disconnect it completely and wait five minutes once five minutes has passed go ahead connect it back and try printing again hopefully this time your problem will be solved another thing to check is if on your computer you have multiple printers connected only this epson eco tank should be the one that is enabled you can have multiple connected but only one enabled because this could confuse your printer and make your epson printer print blank pages now another thing that you can try is to go on the screen of your printer and press the home button then press the right side or left side arrow it doesn't matter we just need to select maintenance click ok and here we have multiple options we have nozzle check, head cleaning, power cleaning, print head alignment, and other ones. The one that we need to use is power cleaning. This is the highest level of um, print head cleaning that this printer is capable. And although you can go and select head cleaning, this is the most powerful one. And I, but I think you should try power cleaning first. So press OK once you select power cleaning. And here they will tell you a bit of information print head cleaning may not improve print quality what you need to know is that this will use a bit of ink to perform this cleaning and if you see an improvement so do a power cleaning and try printing a page if you see a slight improvement keep doing this cleaning and you should get rid of your problem many times just once is enough because sometimes if your print head are clogged well, there's nothing that will come out and uh, your page will be blank. Another thing that you can try is to update the firmware of your Epson printer. So this is the Epson smart panel app, the one that you're using probably already with your printer. And you just have to tap on the image of your printer, go down and you see firmware update, click on this. It will check and see if there is a new version. And sometimes it's a software problem and this will solve it. Now, finally, one last thing you can try is to reset your printer. So what you're gonna do is to go home on this screen, go under settings, and you need to go where it says, whoops, over here, restore default setting is eight out of nine. Press okay. And then you'll have multiple options. You need to select the last one, clear all data and settings press OK and your printer will be factory reset. You'll need to reconnect it, your Wi-Fi network and start fresh. Many times this is the last resort, but the one that works the best. So hopefully one of these solutions works for you. If you have another one, please write it in the comments down below. I'm sure somebody will be very grateful to find it out. If not, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.